Hi, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London. And in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export a pre-recorded narrated PowerPoint presentation to an MP4 video file in order to upload to a streaming server like YouTube or Streams. So we've recorded our narrations and we've already created our slides and we've checked that our slides have the little speaker icon on each one and that our presentation plays back fine on our computer. So in order to export this as a file that can then be shared uh, as a video file, we need to go to the file menu and we need to go export. If we choose export, we then have a list of file formats that we can save as. By default, PowerPoint will choose a PDF format. Now we don't want to export as a PDF format because that's a readable document, not a playable video. So if you click on the file format download box, you can choose different formats. I'm using the Apple Mac version of PowerPoint, so some slightly different formats are included. But essentially you want to choose the MP4 or equivalent video format. By clicking on MP4, you've then got a choice about the quality of your recording. You have a choice between low quality, which reduces the size of your file to 853 by 480 pixels, internet quality, which is a 720p high definition video, or presentation quality, which is the full 1080p presentation quality video. I would always choose the 1080p video because as we know from my other tutorials, you can easily compress videos down further using third party software. Since this is a narrated PowerPoint presentation, we want to use the recorded timings and narrations to create this video. If you forget to tick this box or you accidentally untick it, it will simply use a default 5 second timing on each slide and not play back your voice recordings. So just make sure you've ticked the box that says use recorded timings and narrations. I'm going to save this to my desktop and call it presentation 1 for want of a better title. And I click on export. You'll see down the bottom of your PowerPoint window now a progress bar will appear where it is saying it is converting and uploading your Visio presentation. This will take a little while because your computer has to process your voice recording and create a video file. So we'll leave this running for a few minutes. Now that the process is completed, you'll see the presentation 1.mp4 file is saved on the desktop as requested. I can now have a look at this video and make sure it's all working. We start with our presentation title and our first slide. And that seems quite good. I can scroll through this in my video playback software and make sure that it shows all the slides as intended. And yep, they're all there. So I can close that video down and I can now use that MP4 to upload to our video streaming server or share with colleagues. If you want to know how to compress this video further to make it smaller, please watch my other tutorials on how to use Handbrake.